Hey everybody, everybody, I'm back. It's Scott Cold. Well, you've all been waiting for it and it's finally that time. Time to try the spotted dick. Yes, Miss Southern Belle sent me this in her uh, gift box that she sent me last week or the week before. And this was one of the items and it came with special instructions to do a taste test of this. So I know that Miss Bell loves the dick, I mean, spotted dick. So she wanted to share one of her favorite treats with me. So she sent this to a few other people, I believe. So, you know, I think it's her little secret joy <laughs> seeing us try it. So I, I figured this is what it looks like. It came with two to a package. And uh, let me give you a little close up here. And uh, I figured, you know, I'm gonna need something to pair with it. And I figured what would pair better than a cotton candy Faygo? <laughs> Two taste tests in one. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree a while back and uh, thought I'd give it a try. So, you know, we're gonna keep it really, really elegant here and try our English spotted dick with a cotton candy fago. So before I get into this, um, I did read the directions and it says that you should either microwave it for 30 seconds or steam it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I Ain't nobody got time for that because everybody knows when you need a dick spotted or otherwise, you really can't wait that long. So we microwaved it and um, it's warm. So I did take the liberty of looking up a little bit about this because I was just curious. So it says, according to Wikipedia, <laughs> which, you know, if you don't believe Wikipedia, you're just <laughs> on America. <laughs> so <laughs> Spotted Dick, also known as Spotted Dog, or railway cake is a traditional British steamed pudding historically made with suet and dried fruit, usually currants or raisins, and often served with custard. Non-traditional variants include recipes that replace suet and other fats, such as butter, or that include eggs to make something similar to a sponge pudding or cake. Spotted is referenced to the dried fruit in the pudding, which resembles spots. Dick and dog were dialectical terms widely used for pudding from the same etymology as dough. In the late 19th century, um, a lot of stuff that we don't really care about. So yeah, um, it's raisins, and apparently they used to call dough dick. So <laughs> I still have a lot of questions, but you know, I think these questions are just gonna be best answered by digging in. So we've got our auntie's spotted dick, which I'm, it probably should be uncles, but they went with aunties. And let's crack open our Fago, just in case, you know, you're gonna want something at the ready. I'm sure it's delicious, I'm sure, but let's smell this. Wow, that does smell like cotton candy, but we're here for the dick. So, we have it here, and let's dig in, shall we? It smells very raisiny. This is how it looks. It's chewy, kind of. It actually reminds me of pumpkin bread. If you've ever had pumpkin bread. And that's exactly what I would think I'm eating. You know those quick bread recipes? 
that people make around Thanksgiving or Christmas. I taste the raisins. Um, it's not, you know, overwhelming. It has a nice texture. I'm that person that likes things underdone anyways, whether it be cookies. Um, you know, people, I, I've watched the Great British Baking Show and they're always like, it's raw. And I'm thinking, it looks good to me. Like, I like it that way. I might be the only person, but I don't like when stuff is like done and real like brown or even crispy and crunchy. It's like, I want cookies, baked goods, slightly underdone. <laughs> Oh, now that is sweet. Damn. <laughs> cotton, it's called Delicious Cotton Candy Fago from Gen Line. It's kind of a novelty. I mean, one can would definitely be adequate for most people, <laughs> probably. Um, you do taste the, the flavor of cotton candy, though. It has a... I'm going to mix it together here with a bite of spotted dip. And uh, some bago. Yeah, these two definitely don't go together. I wouldn't advise it. Um, you know, maybe like a red wine or something with the spotted dick. <laughs> a white wine even, but... Well, what did I expect, right? Anyways, that is the taste test. I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's not too late. If you have, welcome to the family. I love you for watching. Go out and get you some dick and a cotton candy bago.